Hi guys, welcome back to the uh, CBR Custom Calf. In this video we're going to be uh, messing about with the engine, but uh, well, maybe if we've got time, but first we're going to be taking off the oil cooler and uh, clutch and stuff. I'm going to remove the clutch, we're going to remove this fairing subframe, I'm going to remove all the brakes and the footrests and then we're going to crack on with the engine. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay then, so as we can see the back brake is already removed so all we've got to do is undo the uh, reservoir and we'll do the footrest and then that should be the brake out of the way I think so let's hope there's no nonsense reservoir bolt is just 10 mil <laughs> oh man this is so much more pleasure to do than it was doing the divvy should do that. Uh, then we've just got these two Allen bolts I think. Then we should be away I reckon. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe these bolts. It's not natural. It's not natural, no, it's not natural. Here we go, just get the last one out. And this should drop off. Ho ho. And here we go. all the brake system out the way or the rear brake system it doesn't look too bad does it no. some have been leaking there look you can see looks like the rubber hose is gone so uh, we we'll go around to the front brakes uh, before we go around to the front brake, we may as well just get this foot hanger off as well, haven't we? Oh my god. I can't believe how easy these bolts are. Oh, saying that. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Don't tempt fate. This one's a bit nasty. It's not too bad. At least it's going. Just a little bit stiff. What the fuck? My CBR custom calf has just weed itself. I wonder that one was a bit tight. Well I've never seen it like that before. Never in all my days. Motorcycle having a wee out of the footrest. Put them back in there. That means this brain must be full of bloody wet. You should have told me you needed a wheel, I would have given you a nappy. 
So anyway, let's go round to the front brake now. Okay guys, here we are, welcome back to the front brake. Put a bit of light on the subject. It's better. Now I think this has got three thick well three things to undo. There's a six mil Allen bolt, five mil Allen bolt, and a ten mil normal bolt. So let's see how we get on. Shall we do the big one first? The six mil. <laughs> I love it. I'm loving this bike. Absolutely loving this bike. It's even been greased up. Now then, I don't think we'll have much luck with this one, do you? Oh my good night. Oh my golly gosh. Oh. This bike is just trying to help me out in every which way, isn't it? Has that been greased as well? Yes, another nice grease bolt. So that should just come off now, I think. Yep. Oh, it's not like the white CBR then. My white CBR, you cannot get the brake caliper off the disc because it won't go past the wheel rim. But what you have to do is take one side off and it comes past. But this one just comes past. Mind you, mine's a three pot, this is only a two pot. So, let's try and get the speedo cable out. Ow, ow, ow. Thank you. And we should just need this 10 mil. Not taking any chances, I've got the big gun. Come on. Come on, please don't snap. <laughs> Baby bubbles bomb. -bom. Oh, still tight. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh my god, what's wrong with you? I think it's because of the weight on it. Yeah. That's because of the weight. It's a long bolt, so let's uh, put that round there, put the bolt back in there, and then uh, I'll see you on the other side. Okay then, welcome to the other side. I think this one is just held on by two six mil allen key bolts. See how easy these are. Oh my good night. <laughs> I don't believe this. I've literally just come to this and this is how loose it was. This bike is going to be amazing. Uh, there's no break the lever to take off because it wasn't there so that's something I'm going to have to source get saucy and have to source a break master cylinder for the CBR 1000F 1987 there we go Joe as usual, put the bolts back in. There's nothing worse than rebuilding a bike because these bolts won't be replaced, definitely. They're perfectly usable. 
But there's nothing worse when you're putting your bike back together and you're spending six hours looking for a bolt when you could be doing six hours putting your bike back together. So that's all the front brakes removed. What next? This uh, frame bit and then we can decide what we're going to do next. Okay so where we are at the uh, subframe fixings it's just two nuts and bolts and I believe they are 14 mil. That's my 14 mil. No, that's my 15 mil. That's my 14 mil. It's going round, so I'll have to put the other spanner on as well. Uh, the other side of the bolt isn't 14 mil. Let's try a 13 mil. No, it's not a 13 mil either. Let's try a 12 mil. Yes, it's a 12 mil. So the nut is 13. No, the nut is 14 mil, and the bolt is 12 mil. So. I could have to turn this off guys, so I've only got two hands. There we go. I think that should be finger tight now, so let's try the other one. Might be finger tight. Let's have a look. Yep. So that's one out. Try the other one. for now. So the next job I'll do I think I'll take the uh, master clutch off the engine. So I'll see you back down there. Okay so the clutch cylinder should have two 8mm bolts in it but one is missing. So there's another one there so it should have three bolts in. So let's try and get these two undone. Okay, here we go. Oh, yep, yeah, that's one. Oh, shit. That is pretty tight. You know from doing the divvy, how nervous you get on doing bolts. Just about every bolt snapped on that bike, didn't it? Luckily these are uh, not too difficult. Ooh, something smells. Getting a funny smell. That stinks. Cool, what does that stink of? It's a bit wet and manky. If I pull the clutch, will that pop off? 
Oop. <laughs> well, it made a noise, but it didn't pop off. It's a bit stinky, though. Why would you come off? A big time rubber hammer. Doesn't want to come off. God. The bolts came undone with this and well not too easy but they came undone with that snapping. That's going to take six hours to get this off. Let me switch you off for a bit while I right about. Okay we've got it. Uh, what I did was put a screwdriver in the holes and just kept wobbling it backwards and forwards like that slightly off like that. I've got a screwdriver stuck on it. I think it's just stuck on this corrosion around here. So anyway, that's away from the engine. Okay, so welcome back to the clutch area. Clutch master cylinder area. These are just two eight mils. Just two eight mil bolts. Me any fight? No, no, no fight in them, so we're all right. This one. Two. Bolts back in. There's a bolt missing out there, look. Okay, bolts are back in, so just got to feed this through. Hopefully it should all come through. Please fit through there. Oh yes. So there we are, all out the way. Gear shifter out of the way. Looks a bit tough, doesn't it? Like it's gonna be catching on the spring. Goes into first gear. So uh, where is my socket? Get the speed brace on there. Bit at a time. Do it. Now you all probably know this, but. these bolts out all the way because if you try and pull it off it will never come because there's like a groove in the shaft. I'll take it off and show you you'll see what I mean. I've actually seen lots of videos of stuff like this but nobody sort of explains the danger of leaving that bolt in there. See around there. It's a bit torch. You could probably see it, but I'm not sure. You can see around the shaft there is a groove. And that bolt goes through it. So you're never gonna pull it off without damaging the shaft. You get what I mean? So always take the bolts right out. Probably already know what uh, there might be somebody who doesn't know. I didn't know when I was 14 and I took one off of a, what was it, 
remember the C90, step through on the C90 with the great big do do like you used to rock it backwards and forwards, first, second, third, and I just stunned on the bolt. I couldn't get it off, I just forced it and forced it and I knackered all the shaft up because the bolt wouldn't go through there so you live and learn so anyway, that's off let's put the bolt back in there for now uh, what we've got to take off next so I've got to take this paddy I'd stand off because it looks like it might be in the way. Don't want to do any damage to that shaft like I keep going on about. Oh yeah, don't matter with this engine, does it? <sighs> thinking too far, thinking too far ahead of myself. But anyway, I think that's an engine bolt what goes straight through. Uh, there's just two other bolts, so I may as well just whip that off when I undo that bolt. Uh, I'll whip I'll whip that off because it is a bit sharp. Uh, I don't want to lose any fingers. I don't want my speed brakes again. So it's got 10 mil and it's got an Allen key. Lovely. Oh. <laughs> now you know why it's got an Allen key, dickhead. This it's only fixed in by, by one, what's it? I'll save it, but uh, I don't think it's going to go back on. Get back in there. Yes, all these wires are disconnected. Oh, your coolers. We'll get them removed. I think they're going to be eight millimetre bolts. And I think I'm going to have to rubble on the floor to get them undone. Get down on your knees and repent if you please. Hope you can see down there. Because that bloody can't. You might be able to see. Get that speed up cable out of the way. My silver torch because it's got a brighter battery. And uh, I'm sure the oil's been emptied out but uh, you never know. Yep, it is that one. I'll leave you somewhere so you can see. <laughs> Excuse me to death on doing these bolts. Any leakage yet? Can't see no leakage yet. Bollocks. Oh, I'm getting cramp, I'm getting cramp. Oh. Jesus, I'm cramping my leg. One, two, Shit, shit, shit. Uh, quick, get back in, get back 
kijken hier, fokker. <laughs> Let me find a container to contain myself. Okay, we're back. We found one. Oh. Get back on the floor again. Uh, let's do them on the other side first, shall we? Probably can't see. Let's try and undo the other side first. around the sump there's all gasket glue so the sump's been off before Up the corner. Is that bloody rubber hammer? Haven't we? See bloody clips again. <laughs> See if we can't crack them open. these bits because I'm losing everything. See me in shot. So that's about it, guys. I think that's, uh, that's about all we've got. But uh, I know you lot will be sitting there shouting at me. Take the rocking cover off. Take the rocking cover off. Take the rocker cover off. Take the fucking rocket cover off. I keep saying rocking cover. All right then. Just for you guys. I'll take the rocking cover off. <laughs> rocking cover. Let's take the rocking cover off and have a look inside. See which chain is knackered. We can only see one chain, can't we, with the rocking cover. Alright then, here we go. I know you're supposed to do these in a certain manner, but uh, I don't think it really matters, does it? I wonder what 
what we're going to find underneath. Probably be there on the wiser you watch. Get all the top off and we'll be on the wiser. Let's get all the bolts out of the way. Sorry guys, comment whether I should leave the engine in the frame and take the cylinder head off or just drop the old lot out. Whichever is, which would be the easiest do you guys think. So let me know on that on the comments and uh, take care, ride safe, drive safe, fly safe and cruise safe if you're on a cruise ship you know. I know you all hate me now, but uh, leave a thumbs up and I'll see you next week. Oh, and here's the comment of the week. Cheers, mate. Yeah, down, right? yeah, if I put it on the right way, it goes yeah, into yeah, the frame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That way, it? Just if, I, spin it if I spin it round, it, it catches on the frame. It does, it? Yeah, so I've had to. Yeah. <laughs>